November soybeans closed sharply lower after an outside reversal down day. Uh, we did not make new contract highs for the November soybean contract. So we're, I don't see this as a key reversal. It doesn't fit that definition by my standards. Uh, some people might suggest that. Either way, outside reversal down days a lot of times are seen as rather bearish candles on a, on a bar chart. Uh, the other thing is soybeans have tried to close above 14.25 uh, four of the last seven sessions and have failed to do so. The closest being 14.24 and a half. We've gotten well above 14.25, but not managed to close up there. So this makes us wonder, are soybeans getting ready for a correction after the $3 plus rally that we've seen since the end of May? That rally being fueled by some warm and dry conditions uh, affecting the crop, but then also 4 million acres less soybeans uh, planted than what was originally intended to plant. Uh, so we could have a fairly tight balance sheet, but all of that really depends on what happens in August. August weather is always the most important weather period for soybeans as they go through their pod set or reprodu pre reproductive stage. And that really determines, goes a long way to determine the overall yield for soybeans. And we really don't have a whole lot of downside. There's very little room for error this year in soybeans because of aforementioned less acreage planted out there. Uh, we really need the USDA's trend line 52 bushel an acre for a national average yield. If it comes in much shorter than that, that could result in a rather tight uh, balance sheet unless we are to believe that we're going to price ration some of next year's demand based on that $3 rally that we've incurred over the last just, just under two months. So we shall see what happens with that. In the meantime, though, weekly export sales were within the range of expectations, but they were expected to be pretty good, especially for these new crop soybeans, and they were. Uh, for old crop, which we we're coming to the tail end of that marketing year, that marketing year ends at the very end of August, new marketing year starts on September 1st, but for old crop, we had 199,000 metric tons for 2022-2023. For new crop, we had 545,000 metric tons, so a little over half a million metric tons sold last week. That's pretty good. Now we've strung together a couple weeks of some pretty good new crop sales and suggests that they're really picking up as we get into uh, a, a key time frame for soybean export sales. So maybe that demand rationing is not occurring after a $3 rally so far. So again, really brings the spotlight back on August weather and that yields. Lots of things to be paying attention to in soybeans right now. Everybody have a wonderful day and be safe.